Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and today's topic is tea from Japan. But before I do that, let me just make some announcements. If everything goes well, I will have my new Geiger counter this Thursday or Friday. And it is an Inspector EXP with the external probe, incredibly sensitive, very much more powerful than before. Great, 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 great. Anyhow, um, as you can see, I have my orchid here with my little elf who guards it. Isn't that just nice and weird? I have my Geiger counter, which does not affect my Geiger, not my Geiger counter, my plasma globe, which doesn't affect my Geiger counter readings at all. I know because I've tested this extensively, although I was worried it would. I have my Stormtrooper here for moral support. And, of course, my Atomic Science book. But the real highlight are the teas from Japan. These two I'm not sure of, although I'll explain in a minute why I think I am. But what you really want to know is you really want to know what the radioactive readings are from them. Like, here are radioactive readings. This is my uh, software I use. Well, I shouldn't say my. I didn't write it. It's not mine. I mean, I, I purchased it. It's what I use. It's called Geiger Graph from um, uh, uh, Mineral Labs, which is um, uh, GeigerCounters.com. And I've been <clears throat> testing uh, this tea here. This plastic container contains tea. The reading for this room, the background reading for this room, is 14 counts per minute. And if you've been to my website, then you've probably seen that I have three or four months of data proving that it's 14 counts per minute. Now, let's see. I just finished a 10-minute count with this. I had the Geiger-Muller window here, the thin window, right over top of the tea, which came right out of this bottle, the Japanese uh, 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 jasmine tea. 122 counts I got in that period of time. Divide that by 10. That is 12.2 counts per minute. 12.2. That is below my normal levels. As you can see, my levels went along pretty steady until I put it over the T and it went like this. That was me moving around most likely because when you move around it tends to make the Geiger counter jump a bit. But as you can see, nothing bad happened. We did not go up to 50 counts per minute or 100 counts per minute. The verdict here is that this uh, tea is probably not radioactive, any any more so than any other tea. But, um, I mean, the Geiger counter jumps up and down all the time, but it's a statistical average which makes a difference. That's why you want to do 10 or 20 minutes. Notice as I move around, I make the Geiger counter move too. Here are some teas from Ito N. I T O E N. Ito N. I don't know if that's how that's pronounced. God help me, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Anyhow, um, I think they're tasty myself. I drink them. Green tea. Oolong tea. And jasmine tea, my favorite. This bottle right here says Wegmans, but this bottle tastes absolutely identical to this bottom, to this bottle. By the way, did you all notice that I got a new camera finally? I told you I was going to get a new camera. Way better than beforehand. So you all know I produce hundreds of videos and lots of people watch the videos. And most of the people are like, hey, your camera sucks. Well, it does. This was my previous camera, this iPhone. Through the iPhone's reflection, you can see my new camera. Eee, see the new camera? This guy I'm not sure of. It is peach tea. And it is peach oolong tea. I believe that this is an Ito N product in reality being resold by Wegmans. But I can't prove it. Neither can I prove this, although I'm basically 99.99999% sure that this is an Ito N product. I just can't prove it. And as you see, we go up to 17 counts. Oh, all dramatic because I'm moving around with my breath. Watch this. That should make it go up. Human breath seems to make it go up a little bit. See? Yeah, human breath. Good for it. It goes up and down. Um, once I get my better one, I'll be able to actually detect this in more detail and know for sure whether or not this is radioactive. But I've been testing uh, uh, Ito NT now for several months since the Japanese disaster of Fukushima, which was a horrible, horrible event. Because I drink it, and I don't want to, like, you know, die because I'm secretly importing cesium to drink. The reality of it is, is I'm probably not. Um, I did a little bit of looking out here on the internet, and I looked at Ito N's website where they have... Um, this quality response uh, uh, document, which I'll post on the site for you all to see. In this, they pretty much sum it up that they check their, their tea in, in depth before they uh, bottle it up and send it, and that they didn't buy any of the tea from the area that was heavily affected. Keep in mind that we were lucky about one thing. Let me go back here to uh, Geiger Graph for just a moment, and let's go for a second to... Um, uh, let's go for a second to Japan. Let's not send data 
that is only receive data because we don't want to actually be on radiationnetwork.com. All right, let's move around here to Japan. Here's Japan. Okay. Now, as you see on Japan, there's a monitoring station. There's actually more of them. They haven't popped up yet because it, it takes about a minute for them to all show up. But as you can see right here, uh, Fukushima is right there. Itoen gets most of their tea from down here. And when this thing blew up, it all kind of went that way. Now, the truth be known, some of it went down, some of it went around, blah, 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 blah. But luckily for the Japanese people, and this is why the island is like still inhabitable, most of it, almost all of it went directly this way, thank goodness. Not only does that mean the Japanese people are like, you know, saved and not dead, but more importantly, also, <laughs> more importantly, that sounds bad, but also it means that my, um, my T here is going to be pretty safe too. Oh, look, there's some more stations. And as you can see, this, the, the, the readings are pretty low off of these two stations. I don't know if you can even see them or not. Uh, let me pull up their information. This isn't showing me very much on their readings. They just came online, I guess, either that or I just came online. Huh. Well, anyway. Um, oh, it's probably because I don't have this online right now. But the, most of the tea comes from down here, so it's relatively safe to drink. Uh, companies, uh, this is the data from it, companies like E2M are very, very reputable, and they are their their reputation is on the line when it comes to things like tea. So, when everybody's scared to death about tea in Japan, they have to be very, very careful. They don't want to go over a, a certain amount of radiation here. I was reading up on it. It looks like um, uh, what is it? it? Looks like the limit right now is 500 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium that's allowed in Japanese tea to be safe. 500 becquerels would mean 500 decays per second. 500 decays per second is not really that high. There's radioactivity in everything you eat. If you recall from my other videos, I, I eat bananas, and bananas have very radioactive potassium, which probably has a significant uh, number of becquerels. I don't remember what the actual uh, decays per second is on radioactive potassium, but it's, it's pretty good. So your body can handle small amounts of radioactivity. What, what, of course, is more deadly than the cesium is the strontium, but that's probably not as heavy in, in this as that or the iodine. But the water seems to be pretty well filtered, and I can't detect radiation with my Geiger counter. And I use an LND Model 712 Thin Window Mica uh, Geiger Mueller display. I mean, not display, full uh, Geiger Mueller tube. I was looking at the display when I said that. Isn't that great? And I can't detect anything. And I love the teas because they don't have anything in them but water and tea. There's like no sugar. There's ascorbic acid, which gives them vitamin C. And I like vitamin C as well. So let me drink some of this. Oh, yeah. Because basically put, I'm like, you know, dying here of thirst as I look at these teas and drink them. I'll find out if these two are actually E2Ns. I'm pretty sure this one is. I'm not sure if this one is or not. And let you know about that as well. Also, recall, folks... That I'm going to be testing this once I get the new Geiger counter. This is Energy Boost 70, which is which says on the package contains thorium. Why in God's name anybody would put thorium in an energy supplement since it's always radioactive? I don't know. I will see if I can detect it. I've dried this down. I usually keep something on top of it. But right now for the video I didn't just because I wanted you to be able to see it, etc. But um, here are the teas. I think they taste absolutely great. By the way, that's not Vaseline glass, in case you're curious. And though I move these around and I get ticks as I move them around, I don't get any particularly high readings off of them in any particular way. See? No ticks. No ticks. Nothing here. Nothing amazing in the GeigerGraph software. These readings seem high, but that number is 19. And that number is 5. So they're between 5 and 19. Looking at my spreadsheet, nothing in particular seems high to me. All the readings are pretty low. And as I move it around, this thing updates every couple of seconds. There it goes. Just updated again. Nothing amazing. I'm still actually, I'm actually at 13 counts, which is odd because my average is usually 14 counts. I haven't been around enough radioactivity today for it to go back up again. But anyhow, so there you, fo there you go, folks. This is Tom from anti-proton.com, and I'm going to continue drinking Ito NT because I like it. And by the way, they didn't pay me to say this. I bought all of these today at Wegmans Grocery Store. I just love the tea, and I hear people say stuff like, Oh, man, I wouldn't buy tea from Japan. I'm sure it's bad for you, blah, 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 but it's not. So uh, there you go. Bye-bye.